Hello, wonderful Health 101 students. It is me again. I'm here with a brief course walkthrough for you all so you can see what our virtual course space looks like and what to expect. So when you log into your Canvas account, you'll see something that looks a bit like this. This is kind of your homepage, your dashboard. Any classes that you're taking will show up on here. So this will be our course. You'll click in here. I'm going to take it to student view so you see what it looks like on your end. And it'll take you directly to this page. So you'll see a little introduction. You'll see buttons here. This is what you'll want to navigate to throughout the semester. Anytime I send out an announcement, it'll show up here. You should get it via email as well to your student email. If you don't, you can go into your account and go to settings and change the notifications that you get, or you can go into view course notifications over here on the right hand side and make it so that anytime I send an announcement, you get notified via email. And if you have the Canvas app, you'll get notified that way as well. This is generally how I'm going to communicate with you throughout the semester. So it's a good idea to make sure your course notifications are turned on. Syllabus right here will take you out to our syllabus and I will walk through that in a minute. Modules is going to be the key. Modules is where you'll find everything useful, everything you'll watch, read, engage with, and submit will be found in modules week by week. And then, of course, grades will let you know how you're doing on any given thing throughout the semester. You'll also see the same tabs over here on the left-hand side. They'll take you to the same spot. So let's check out modules real quick. This is what our first one looks like. It is our orientation module. This you'll wanna do within the first day of the class. And in fact, I'll open it up a week early for you so you can check things out early if you're on here before the class begins. And you'll wanna go through each of these pages. Orientation overview, we'll let you know what to expect, how the course works. You'll get a lot of useful information, setting up student email, walkthrough of Canvas, that's what you're watching course policies and tidbits, when are things due, Canvas tips, et cetera. Really important, helpful resources for MESA students, whether that's the stand, food, clothing, and other basic needs support, counseling, mental health services, et cetera. Let's go back to modules. You'll also have a brief survey. It'll take you out of here. It's just to let me know a little bit about you. Since we're not in person with each other this semester, it's nice for me to get to know a little bit about you, your major, your goals, what you hope to learn, any concerns you might have. If you have any DSPS accommodations, that's a place you can let me know. So it's just kind of a helpful place to share about yourself. And then you can also post to our class welcome board here, which allows you to introduce yourself to other classmates and also get extra credit. Each week, you'll wanna come down to the module for the week that we're on. So you can see week one, what is wellness, behavior change, stress, and psychological health. So the topic will always tell you the subjects we're covering that week. You'll get an overview, which will list out everything for that week. And then the layout is always the same. You'll have lectures and PowerPoints. So you'll click through these to watch the lecture. They'll also have the PowerPoint link for your review. My tip here is please, please don't just sit down on your computer and try to stare at me for 15 minutes to an hour watching these lectures. You will be so dreadfully bored and it will be very hard to stay on task. Some of you, maybe that's the way your brain works, but I find for many students and myself included, it can be helpful to move your body or engage in some low brain energy required task while you're listening to lectures. So for a lot of folks, that means popping in headphones and going for a walk. I love that for students. I love doing that myself. And of course, you won't be able to see the slides as easily. But like I said, I have a link so you can always go back and run through the slides before or after your walk. Or perhaps you could plug in some headphones and listen to the lecture while you're folding laundry, while you're doing dishes. The idea of this course is not that you memorize a lot of information, it's that you get concepts that you're able to apply to your life. So there may be points where you wanna stop, jot down some notes, but overall, you should be able to go back to the slides and pull the material that you need and listen to the lectures while you're doing some light household chores or going for a walk. This is also a double whammy because it improves your health and the physical activity will help you retain information. Videos and readings will be resources that are apart from myself. So these will be videos that I pull from other sources and readings that I pull from other sources rather than my own personal lectures. And please note that there is no textbook for the class. 
And then last, but certainly not least, the things to do section. The things to do section tells you what your deliverables are each week, what your assignments are, what you need to turn in. Typically, there will be always three and sometimes four things. It kind of toggles every other week. Three, then four, three, then four. This first week, you have three things. You have a discussion. You'll always have a discussion board, a self-assessment where you're reviewing something, assessing something about yourself and writing a reflection. This first one, you're assessing your personal wellness and a learning check, which is a little quiz, usually 10 points, 10 questions, and timed. These are kind of the only assessments for memorization or mem remembering material throughout the semester. And then every other week, you'll have a bigger assignment and I'll usually give you the directions the week before. So the first big one is the stress resiliency assignment. And then you'll see that you submit it bah, bah, right there week two. Often there are opportunities for extra credit. This first one, gratitude journaling, you need to begin at the beginning of the semester to submit at the end. Otherwise, there are usually things you can do in that week. Listen to a podcast, read an article, watch a TED Talk, write a review on your response to it. So this is kind of the layout, what each week can you can expect it to look like. Here you go. These modules will open up on Thursday, the week before they are due. So let's say week two, the module will open up on Thursday of week one and close on Sunday of week two. So rather than just opening up on Monday and closing on Sunday, I give you a little bit of lead time beforehand. So they're each open for 10 days total. That allows real industrious students to get ahead, or if you have a little bit of extra time one weekend, you might wanna get ahead knowing that the next week might be busier. It just gives you a bit more flexibility overall with when you complete the work. And again, you do have work that is due each individual week. So you'll have some work for week one, some work for week two. It's not just a set open class. Like I said, your grades will be here. So each thing you complete, you'll see a numerical grade. And if you click it, you'll be able to see my comments on it to you. And then last important thing here would be the syllabus. The syllabus will walk you through the course, similar stuff to what I've just talked about, course review, information, strategies for success, guidelines and requirements for engaging in class, when you should let me know if you need an extension, et cetera. It'll break down your overall assignments and grading. Maybe. And it'll give you the course schedule. The course schedule, this you can print it out. You can save it to your desktop. You can go through it and put every single thing in here in your calendar if you'd like, however you prefer to do it. That will walk you through everything you can expect to do in class this semester. So as a reminder, modules are here. Kind of just give yourself a head start and look through the first few, kind of poke through the lectures and the assignments and see, okay, how much work am I reasonably expected to do each week? It's gonna vary a lot student to student, anywhere probably from four to nine hours would be the range that I typically hear with maybe five to seven being an average. So you can see different topic each week and they'll open up Thursday, the week before they are due. And as you go through them, they'll give you a little check mark if you have opened it. Or for the assignments, they'll give you a check mark once you have completed it. So opened for the assignments down here, they'll give you once you've completed it. And so these ones you can mark as having finished and that will just kind of help you. It's like a little checklist. It turns your weekly modules into a checklist. So you can click it, click it. That way, let's say you did a couple hours of work and then you want to come back and see where you are. You can go, ah, okay, stress and psychological health. That's what's next up for me. So those are just there for you to help keep you on track. I don't grade them, check them, survey them in any way. So that is it, everyone. Little walkthrough of the course uh, to help orient you to our Canvas show this semester. Bye-bye.